Question four, write each of these numbers in its correct place on the sorting diagram. We've got 40, 8 and 15. This is our sorting diagram. A posh word for this type of sorting diagram is actually called a Venn diagram. You don't need to worry too much about that. It's just because it's named after the person who invented it. It was called John Venn. But what we do need to know is how this diagram works. Well, we've got two circles. One on the left, one on the right. We've got an overlapping bit, and then we've got a space outside the circle. And it's really important that we understand how each of those bits work. So the circle on the left, is only multiples of 5 and that bit is labelled for us. The circle on the right is only multiples of 2, in other words even numbers, so that bit's labelled for us. But what's not labelled is the overlapping bit and the overlapping bit must be both multiples of 5 and multiples of 2. So if it's both in the 5 times table and the 2 times table it has to go in the overlapping bit there. A common misconception about Venn diagrams in this type of sorting diagram is the bit outside the circles. People don't realise that you can still use the bit outside the circles. In other words, within this rectangle. Well, the bit outside the circles, but still within the rectangle, is neither multiples of 2 nor multiples of 5. So if you get a number that is not in the 5 times table and not in the 2 times table, it wouldn't go in any. So, for example, the number 7. 7 is not a multiple of 5 and it's not a multiple of 2. It's neither. But we would still have to put it somewhere if that was one of the numbers we were given. So we would have to put it in this space around the outside. So we'll just put neither in 5 times table or... 2 times table. Well, now we know that, let's start looking at the numbers we've actually got to deal with. So we've got the number 40. Well, is the number 40 in the 5 times table? Yes, it is, because 8 times 5 equals 40. Is it in the 2 times table? Well, yes, it is, because it's even. And it's 20 times 2 equals 40. So it's in both times tables. If it's in both times tables, it's a multiple of 5 and a multiple of 2. Therefore, it goes in the overlapping bit. So 40 has got to go in there. The number 8. Well, is the number 8 a multiple of 5? No, it's not. Is the number 8 a multiple of 2? Yes, it is, because it's even. Because 4 times 2 equals 8. So 8 can only go in the multiple of 2 circle, but it can't go over in the overlapping bit, so it's got to go in the bit here. So 8 can go anywhere in here, but not the overlapping bit. So 8 can just go there. The number 15, is it a multiple of 5? Yes, it is, because 5 times 3 equals 15. And is it in the 2 times table? Well, no, it isn't because it's not an even number. It's an odd number. Therefore, the only one it can go in is a multiple of 5. But it can't go in the overlapping bit because it's not even. So 15 has to go on this side. And there's your three answers. 15 goes in the left circle, 40 in the overlapping bit, 8 in the right circle.